Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. This is the video series for 8th standard students who will be facing board exam conducted by KSCAB. Uh, this is part 1 of important questions for subject mathematics. So dear students, if you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel and join my telegram group and also whatsapp channel the link is shared in the description do join and do subscribe the channel because all the important notification will be shared in my whatsapp channel and also telegram group now moving to first question if 21 y 5 21 y 5 is a multiple of 9 where y is a digit, what is the value of y? If, if a number is multiple of 9 or if a number is divisible by 9, then its sum of digits is also divisible by 9. That is, the digits are 2 plus 1 plus y plus 5 the sum of digits that is 21 y5 is multiple of 9 that means the sum of digits is divisible by 9 now we'll find out 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 5 is 8 8 plus y now 8 plus y is divisible by 9 that means 8 plus y equals what 9 or 8 plus y equals what 18 so 8 plus y equals 9 or 8 plus y equals 0 now because it is a it is divisible by 9 8 plus y equals what 9 now y equals what 9 minus 8 therefore what we get y equals what 1 the value of y is 1 shift plus a to access you get minus 8 therefore y equals what 1 a similar question has been given in the practice session questions to solve you should know the divisibility condition of 1 4 3 2 9 etc you should know the divisibility condition of 2, 3, 4, 5 and 9. If sum of digits is a number is divisible by 9, that means the sum of digits is also divisible by 9. Now moving to next question. Dear students, why I, uh, I have assumed 9 here means if I take it as 18, what happens? Y becomes a double digit. So it is a single digit. So therefore, you should take y, uh, 8 plus y equals 9. Two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3. The two numbers are what? In the ratio 5 is to 3, if they differ by 18, that means the difference of these two numbers is 18, then what are the numbers? Now let me assume, let the numbers be what? 5x and because it's given in the ratio, I'll take it as 5x and 3x. Now, what is the condition? They differ by 18. That means the difference is 18. The condition is 5x minus 3x is what? 18. The difference of these two numbers is 18. Now, 5x minus 3x is it is 2x. 2x equals what? 18. Now, divide 2 on both sides, what you get x equals 18 by 2. What is 18 by 2? It is 9. 
therefore we got x equals 9 now the first number first number is what it is 5 x now 5 into 9 is what 45 now second number is what 3 x 3 times the value of x that is 3 into 9 it is 3 nines are 27 therefore the numbers are 45 and 27 what are the numbers the numbers are 45 and 27 dear students see if I have solved a question from linear equation you can expect a question uh, based on this statement problem from linear equation now moving to next question find the square of 93 find the square of 93 by using identities dear students now we should find out the value of 93 square now what I'll do I'll write 93 as 90 plus 3 directly you cannot do the square what you should do you should find out the square by using identities 93 can be written as 90 plus 3 if 94 is given what you will write you will write it as 90 plus 4 if 98 is given it can be written as 100 minus 2 pictures the nearest to tens you will write it now it is of the form a plus b whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square so a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square in place of a what we have is 90 in place of b what we have is 3 so therefore a square is what 90 square plus 2ab 2 into what is the value of a it is 90 b is what just substitute these values a square plus 2ab plus b square in place of a replaced by 90 b by 3 plus 3 square 0 square is 0 9 square is 81 therefore 81 100 plus 2 3 is a 6 6 9 is a 54 it is 5 40 3 square is what 9 now add 81 100 plus 5 40 81 100 plus 5 40 plus 9 what you get 8100 plus 540 plus 9 you get 8649 therefore the square root of square of 93 is 8649 fourth question Find the square root of 100 by method of repeated subtraction. What you should do? You should find out the square root of 100. By which method? By using the method of repeated subtraction. From 100, you should keep on subtracting what? The odd numbers. 100 minus 1 is 99. Now from 99, subtract the next odd number that is 3. 99 minus 3 is 96. Now 96 minus next odd number is 5. What we get is 91. Now 91 minus next odd number is 7. 91 minus 7 is what we get is 84. Now 84 minus 9. 84 minus 9 is 84 minus 9 is 
5. Now 75 minus next odd number is 11. 75 minus 11 what you get is 64. Now 64 minus next odd number is 13. 64 minus 13 what we get is 51. Now 51 minus next odd number is 15. What we get is 36. Now 36 minus next odd number is 17. 36 minus 17 what we get is 19. 19 next odd number is 19 19 minus 90, 19 is 0 how many times you are subtracted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 therefore square root of 100 is 10 this is the method of repeated subtraction you should keep on subtracting what the odd numbers from the result what you get after subtraction so similar questions are there for practice dear yes, students do subscribe the channel and also download the worksheet from my telegram group or whatsapp channel and practice this question next fifth question fifth question find the square root of 729 by prime factorization method now factorize what 720 we should find out the square root of 729 now factor 729 so, 729 is not divisible by 2. Next, move to number 3. 3 times 729 divided by 3 is what? We get 3 2s are 6, 3 4s are 12, 3 3s are 9. Again, 243 is, is divisible by 3. 3 8s are 3 1s are. Next, 3 2s are 3 7s are next 3 9s are next 3 3s are 9 next 3 1s are now I can write 729 as what how many threes 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 now what we should find out we should find out the square root of 729 Therefore, square root of group the two two numbers 3 square into 3 square into 3 square. Now, square root of 729 is what? Square square root, square square root, square square root will cancel. What you get is 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. Therefore, square root of 20, 729 is 27. Dear students, these are the five important questions. Part 1 for board exam will be faced by the 8th and students. These are the important question video series on the part 1. Many parts I will be posting. Do try to practice all these questions and also try to read, uh, practice the textbook questions. Don't worry, the exams will be easy. Do follow my channel, all the important videos will be posted. These are the practice questions. Do practice all these questions and share answers uh, and discuss answer with your teachers. Thank you for watching the video. If you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel.